We now come to our first round table, the Hungarian economy, a constant evolution. Although I guess you could say that about most economies. Um, to set the scene for that, I'd like to invite Hungary's Minister of Finance and Deputy Prime Minister, Mihai Varga, to give his keynote speech. Minister. Thank you, Robin. Ladies and gentlemen, just uh, a short presentation about the underlying uh, figures of the economy and uh, perhaps a couple of words, the possible outlook uh, of our uh, economy. So, first of all, uh, I test this equipment. Okay, it's working. Uh, so, first of all, uh, just a couple of words uh, about the main growth trends in the global economy and in Europe. So as you see on the slide, uh, uh, the German economy is weakening, uh, the global economic growth is uh, declining, stagnation is expected in the future. And uh, besides Germany, the economic performance uh, of Italy and the United Kingdom uh, is also declining. And according to the IMF uh, prognosis, uh, they are not expected to switch uh, to dynamic growth uh, in the coming years uh, either. And of course, if we looking at the global uh, economic players, the growth uh, figure of Japan or in the United States uh, are not very uh, convincing uh, either. Despite the apparent decline, we cannot talk of crisis. So there are external risks surrounding uh, the forecast, the most important of we, which uh, are the ongoing trade war uh, between the United States and the China, and as a result, the decline in uh, world trade. The Brexit process, the Brexit saga, which has been going on for years and continues to be uh, uncertain, is already having uh, a negative impact on the production and uh, supply chains with the focus on uh, the United Kingdom for the time being. And the third possible uh, uh, risk, the uh, first half of the year, the slowdown in the external demand was observed. Analysts and uh, major international organizations have uh, previously estimated that this slowdown was mainly due to the temporary factors, uh, such as the introductions to WLTP, uh, standard, the trade war and others. So they expected economic growth to pick up uh, again in the second half of uh, uh, 2019 and uh, especially in 2020. Hopefully it will happen. In 2013, the Hungarian uh, economy uh, started to move towards uh, a healthier and a more balanced uh, growth structure. GDP data uh, now also show a stable structure as growth stands on several pillars supported by almost uh, every sector. Hungary is therefore on the right track and uh, as the structure of the economic growth uh, has become sustainable uh, in the long run. Although the external environment uh, was uh, less supportive, 2018 was an outstanding year of the Hungarian economy thanks to the strong contribution of internal in, uh, economic engines uh, that resulted from recent uh, years' uh, economic policy. So mainly in the November uh, 2016 uh, agreement with the trade unions and the employers' associations uh, make a wage and tax agreement uh, with the social partners. So consequently, the Hungarian GDP is, uh, grew by 4.9 percent in uh, 2018, uh, and we believe that this growing in this year uh, will be the same, around uh, 5 percent. Uh, hopefully, in the first uh, half of this year, this uh, GDP growth was uh, above uh, 5 percent, it was 5.2 percent in the second quarter uh, of this year. So with the results, uh, according to the currently uh, available data, Hungary ranks 
second within the EU after Ireland, with a growth rate that almost four times higher than uh, that of the EU average of 1.4%. Uh, a couple of words about the accounting uh, of the Hungarian economy in the first half, the growth uh, structure. The outstanding pace uh, of growth can be attributed to the following uh, main factors. First, the government measures. Look at the pictures, so the wage and tax agreement, uh, the uh, for more competitive Hungary program which was uh, accepted by the government. Measures uh, aimed uh, at facilitating accommodation, so the family home subsidies, government investments. So are estimated to have contributed by 1.6 percent uh, percentage points uh, to the growth. Household consumption, which was helped uh, by the favorable employment and wage uh, developments, and the third, the capacity uh, expansion in export-oriented sectors, and of course the EU fund uh, absorption. The favorable factors uh, listed above are also reflected on the production side. As a result of these factors, Hungary's uh, economy, economic performance has increased uh, by 30% since uh, 2010. So in my responsibility about the budget and the budget situation, one of the most important factors behind these favorable trends uh, is the consequent and stringent uh, budgetary policy of the past years. The sustainability of, this, of the expansion is also confirmed by the internal and external uh, equilibrium indicators. The budget deficit is, uh, uh, as a proportion of the GDP, is uh, well below 3% and uh, for several years. And that is the main element that uh, we can uh, defend the position of the state budget and, uh, of course, the minimize the risk uh, in the state uh, debt. Debt to GDP ratio in percentage, uh, decreasing trend, followed uh, every year, healthier structure. For instance, the foreign uh, currency ratio is uh, below 20% now. It was much higher uh, uh, earlier. The public debt to GDP ratio uh, is on a declining path due to the persistently low fiscal deficit and favorable uh, economic performance. And both its level and the pace of its uh, decrease were much favorable than that the uh, 28 uh, European Union countries and the average in the recent years. By the end of uh, 2018, the general government debt of Hungary amounted to the only 69%. Uh, percent. So I believe uh, that we have to keep this pace and we have to uh, focus uh, in a turbulent times uh, for the budget deficit and the uh, state debt. The debt structure, uh, the government has not only uh, decreased uh, the sovereign debt, but uh, has also succeeded uh, in making uh, its structure more secure. The share of foreign uh, currency debt was decreased from 52% uh, at the end of uh, 2011 to some 20% by the first quarter of uh, this year. In the same period, the external debt uh, was cut from uh, 65% uh, to 35%, which means that the uh, domestic debt accounts uh, for 65%. The citizens own 20% uh, of the sovereign debt which is also important because uh, with the elimination of the exchange rate risk uh, of debt or vulnerability uh, also decreases. By 2016, uh, foreign currency loans were practically uh, terminated. Uh, the process was successfully uh, implemented. Thus, households are not uh, longer exposed to exchange rate risk. If you compare the situation with Poland and uh, read the article in the Friday Financial Times, that is the main uh, advantage of the Hungarian economy that uh, we can solve, uh, we could solve this uh, problem. Unemployment. Uh, unemployment rates uh, in the EU and uh, in Hungary in percentage. Uh, so 
The positive developments uh, have been uh, observed in the labor market as well. Over the period of uh, June and August in this year, employment increased by uh, 34,000 people year on year. So as a result, uh, more than 4.5 million people were employed on average during this period, which uh, significantly exceeds the bottom after the financial crisis, which was just 3.7 million people. So I think that is the main achievement uh, during the last uh, couple of years. And the other side of the uh, employment uh, situation, the employment rate uh, increased to 70.2 percent, more than 4.5 uh, million people in employment, and the employment rate is increasing uh, year by year. So that, that is the best result uh, since the change of the regime. And uh, we are proud that uh, it was just 53 uh, percent when this government came to power in 2010, and now is uh, over 70 percent. And what about the earnings? Because, okay, I have a workplace, a job, but uh, what is the earning? So earnings uh, increased by 10.6 uh, percent in the first seven months uh, in this year. The Central Statistic Office uh, uh, published yesterday this uh, new figure. Along with the economy's recovery, wages have also continued uh, increasing. In July 2019, the average gross earnings amounted to uh, 362,000 uh, forints, higher than a year uh, earlier. So beside the 8.3 uh, percent uh, increase of the minimum wage uh, and the guaranteed wage uh, minimum, Strong labor demand uh, in the private sector also influenced uh, by dynam dynamics. So net wages increased at the same pace as gross wages, thus net real wages uh, have been growing for more than six years now. The next slide uh, about the financing uh, capacity of the households which is important that uh, the people can, uh, can save uh, their money. Savings uh, of the Hungarian people continued to increase in uh, this year, 2019. Over the past 12 months, government bonds maintained their dominance among the various forms of retail uh, savings. The development uh, of its structure is also favorable. The stock long-term bonds increased by uh, 1,370 billion forints, while that of less than one year maturity decreased by uh, 68 uh, billion forints. So that is a good uh, sign, a good element for the future outlook, because uh, not just consumption the people that, uh, uh, that parallel savings uh, their money. Credit deposit and uh, investment ratio in Hungary. Uh, in the second quarter of uh, 2019, the dynamic expansion of national income investments continued. Developments increased by 18.8% uh, uh, year on year, amounting to uh, 2,400 billion uh, forints constituting a 4.1 percent uh, increase compared to the first uh, quarter. Factors behind uh, this favorable data uh, include developments implemented uh, with the help of uh, European Union funds, enhanced uh, construction activity as a result of the family housing uh, program, and the attractive corporate uh, income tax rate since uh, 2017 has gradually been decreased to 9 percent as part of the six-year wage uh, and tax agreement. So it was a government uh, decision that uh, we uh, had to be the best uh, level and have to uh, offer the best level in the corporate income tax uh, for the companies. As a result of the government growth uh, enhancing economic policy, Hungary's investment rate has been constantly rising since uh, 2017. According to the latest data, it has reached uh, 20, uh, 29 percent 
which puts Hungary ahead of the EU member states and even the uh, Visegrad countries. Foreign trade balance. So at the peak uh, in uh, 2016, but uh, it is in the positive side, a positive surplus uh, in the foreign trade uh, balance. Despite the positive uh, developments, uh, the less favorable international economic performance may reduce the growth, uh, reduce the export growth. The reason for this is mainly the weaker performance of the German industry, the slowdown of the Chinese economy and the escalating trade war between the US and China. At the same time, investments and capacity increases in the processing industry, as well as corporate income tax cut in the framework uh, of the six-year tax and wage uh, agreement uh, envisage the further expansion of exports which may contribute to the maintaining uh, the foreign trade uh, surplus uh, at high level. Risk premium. So credit default swap, uh, it was uh, in a short period uh, about 700 points. Now is uh, below under uh, 100 base points over the past years. Uh, this, is, uh, this has also contributed uh, to this year uh, upgrades, uh, Fitch uh, uh, S&P, uh, and still higher than the other V4 member states, uh, thanks to the uh, higher state debt level in Hungary than in uh, compared to Slovakia or Czech Republic or, or uh, Poland. So the country risk premium of Hungary, the five-year CDS uh, premium has significantly dropped over the past years. And of course, the credit ratings, which is a good sign for the international investors. Uh, uh, the credit ratings, uh, so you look at the figures in a 10-year government bonds in the right side. If you compare uh, the credit rating position of Poland and Hungary, so if the market uh, uh, gives an opinion about the country, we have in the same position than in Poland. And if we look at the figures and the position in the credit rating agencies, it has uh, two uh, different levels between uh, Poland and Hungary. So important years uh, are ahead of us uh, in which the government will continue making decisions that will strengthen the economy and will ensure the balanced central budget uh, at the same time. A short lists about the short-term uh, position and uh, what have uh, to do the government. So to protect our achievements so far, uh, we set up a new uh, economic, uh, economic program, a so-called Economic Protection Action Plan. So thanks to the work uh, for, for the Hungarian people and enterprises, the suitable economic policy, the Hungarian economy is performing better than ever before, with sustainable uh, economic growth, increasing employment, uh, decreasing unemployment, and uh, growing wage levels. Nevertheless, these results uh, must be protected, especially in the light of the signs that point uh, towards uh, slowdown of growth prospect in both the Eurozone and the uh, global economy. That was the reason why the government uh, uh, decided to step uh, to set up uh, this uh, economic action plan. As you see, the least uh, two percentage points reduction in social contribution tax, uh, one percentage points reduction in small enterprise tax, uh, uh, the similar uh, effect when the merging and abolition of uh, taxes. And of course, uh, some uh, other step increase the capital of uh, Garantica LTD and uh, the similar institution to help and support uh, the loan activity uh, in the background of the uh, companies. Competitiveness program is a mid-term and a long-term uh, project. As a result of the National uh, Competitiveness Council efforts, the government uh, adopted a competitiveness uh, program. Dynamic uh, economic growth and budgetary balance uh, can only be maintained in the long run uh, if as a result uh, of the continued improvement 
of Hungary's competitiveness and productivity, the growth potential the country is further uh, strengthens. So that was the reason why in some other uh, element, for instance, the vocational training program, uh, abolishing to simplified entrepreneurial tax and others was uh, uh, set up uh, in this uh, program. Credit institution sector, return on equity uh, rates, the profitability of the banking sector has reached its pre-crisis level. This was partially facilitated by an improving portfolio structure and uh, by the enhanced uh, dynamics of uh, lending activity that has led to increased uh, interest and premium uh, income. Although the banking sector uh, closed the year 2018 uh, a more moderate success than the preceding year, it was still able to record a return on equity of uh, 14%. Uh, and another element was uh, the agreement with the EBRD and the Erste Bank uh, in uh, 2015 when we uh, made a deal about uh, the future prospect of the banking sector. And last but not least, a short vision of, uh, for Hungary, what is the government's uh, projects in the future. So four pillars which uh, stand on the future uh, activity of the government, stable and predictable economy, over 4% growth, uh, low deficit and debt uh, levels, uh, increasing employment and others. Economy protection action plan, that's, that was the first phase in this year and uh, we uh, projected, we project that uh, in the next year or later, uh, uh, there will be a new uh, phase of this story. Continued salary adjustment, 15% personal income tax, family tax system, uh, double-digit wage uh, increase and others. And of course, strengthening uh, the competitiveness because uh, that is the main aim of the government. If the future outlook is, uh, would be better, I think uh, we have uh, a lot of work, mainly not in the big and multinational companies that uh, in the small and uh, medium size, uh, among the small and medium size uh, entrepreneurs. Thank you very much indeed.